Hello, welcome to Fillers 101, where we're gonna teach you the basics of fillers. Up, oh, class is in session. Let's get started. So what are fillers and what do we do with them? Well, fillers are this injectable sculpting substance that you can use to mold and to shape the face and make it look better while keeping it looking natural. So there are two ways that we wanna shape faces. One is to rejuvenate a face. And when we're rejuvenating a face, we're making the face look more youthful and fresher by removing things like dark circles, smile lines, and shadows around the mouth. We're taking these sunken areas and we're making them flat with fillers. The second type of thing we can do with fillers is to contour the face. And when we say contour the face, we're adding definition to areas like the cheekbones, the chin, and the nose. And the most important thing when we're doing fillers is to make the face look its best, but make sure it looks natural. Now, why don't you go and see fillers for yourself? Almost all the fillers we use here in our office are hyaluronic acid fillers. What's hyaluronic acid? Well, hyaluronic acid is a water absorbing molecule that's found naturally in your body already. Your body will break it down slowly over time, meaning that these fillers are temporary. The nice thing about hyaluronic acid fillers is that they are immediately dissolvable as well. There's an enzyme called hyaluronidase that we inject directly into the filler when needed to break the filler down immediately. The other type of filler that we use here in our office is calcium hydroxyl apatite. What you need to know about this filler is that it's great at contouring and it is temporary, but it is not immediately dissolvable. Now within each of these two families of fillers, there are multiple different options. It can get a little confusing, so let's go to Tiffany and she's gonna break it down for us. There are a lot of fillers out there. Overall, the main difference is consistency. Some are firmer, some are softer. Some are cohesive and some are more moldable. These characteristics dictate what we can place where. Think about it like food. The lips need something soft and smooth and velvety whereas the cheeks need something firmer for more support and lift. We have an entire blog comparing fillers to food. Your homework, go check it out sometime. The question that everyone wants to know, how long do fillers last? The answer, it depends. It depends on what products are used and where we place them. On average, filler lasts about one to two years, but in areas like the lips, it can last about six months because of how much movement there is. And areas like the nose and the under eyes can last over a year. On average, our patients come in about every nine to 12 months to keep their results looking fresh. Now, go learn about the tools of injection. All right, so we have two ways of injecting this filler. One, with the needle. Needles, sharp, rigid, to the point. This is gonna cut across any resistance that it meets, so it's really nice when we're trying to inject deep down. Option two, micro cannula. Micro cannula might look like a bigger needle, but it's not. It has a rounded, blunted tip, it's flexible, and the product comes out the side. All of these qualities are what make it a great option for avoiding vessels. This is really nice when we're injecting between layers. At our office, we utilize both methods, depending on the location of injection. While all the syringes generally look like this, this is one ml of product, which is a fifth of a teaspoon. Check it out. Before you go, we should tell you about possible complications or side effects. Yeah, the most common side effects are bruising and swelling. Less common side effects include delayed inflammation. And the rarest complications are possible infection or vascular occlusion. So I think that wraps it all up. Yeah. I hope that video was helpful. And until the next time, stay, stay beautiful. beautiful.